one cool judgment is worth a thousand hasty counsels. The thing to do is to supply light and not heat. A little group of willful men, representing no opinion but their own, have rendered the great government of the United States helpless and contemptible. There can be no equality or opportunity if men and women and children be not shielded in their lives from the consequences of great industrial and social processes which they cannot alter, control, or singly cope with. Absolute identity with one's cause is the first and great condition of successful leadership. I am not sure that it is of the first importance that you should be happy. Many an unhappy man has been of deep service to himself and to the world. The world is not looking for servants, there are plenty of these, but for masters, men who form their purposes and then carry them out, let the consequences be what they may. Politics I conceive to be nothing more than the science of the ordered progress of society along the lines of greatest usefulness and convenience to itself. You cannot, in human experience, rush into the light. You have to go through the twilight into the broadening day before the noon comes and the full sun is upon the landscape. He is not a true man of the world who knows only the present fashions of it. My dream of politics all my life has been that it is the common business, that it is something we owe to each other to understand and discuss with absolute frankness. Generally young men are regarded as radicals. This is a popular misconception. The most conservative persons I ever met are college undergraduates. The radicals are the men past middle life.